I'm going to show you how to create a sheet to track employees in different locations. Here we have our four locations here, and then we have employees listed um, down here. I intended this to be um, employees' initials as opposed to E1, E2, A3. But if your employee's name was here, and then you could put your initial beside it, this is how I had planned it to be. So now you can see uh, we have employee one going across here, and it's located there. So employee three is working on Sunday at the north location in the morning. So let's put him also on uh, Friday in the south location. So I'm going to go E3 and press tab. And there you see that he's are, it's already put in the uh, south location. So we could do that again and put him in there a Saturday as well. So we can go E3. And there you have you have it working against his name here, E3, and he has he's working in the north on Monday, uh, the south on Friday and Saturday. So how I've did I've done this is it's quite a formula, so I will break down the formula. So let's just click on one cell here, and you can see we have quite a long formula. So now I'm going to break it down and explain how it works. So this is the formula. And so let's go to the center here, and it's an exact match. So exact equals comparing one cell to another cell, and it, re it returns either true or false. And so in this case, we're looking for a true because we want an exact match of the location. The next thing we have is we have index, uh, index match. And so what I've done is I've... Um, I've named the range of my location stores. So I drop down the name box and you can see that this is all my stores that I have named. And so let's go back to the formula. So we're indexing which store. And then what we're doing is we are matching um, who's working. So we're matching the, the people that are working here in the store and then returning it to the store name. Um, then what we've, we've done is I've done if NA, so if um, we'll go down to the employees, so if if they're not matched against a store, then they're obviously off. So that that's giving me the off, and I've color-coded it so that it's obvious who's off and who's not. And the final thing that we're doing in this, um, in this formula, you can't see it here, but if we click on um, one cell here, you can see it. It has curly brackets around here. And so what this means is this is an array. So it's, t it's tr tr um, treating it all as an individual um, as an individual entity. So how we create a, um, an array is when we're in the process of making this formula, um, at the end we press Control, Shift, Enter, and it will return your, your curly brackets here. The curly brackets are necessary for this to work. You, it's not, you're not able to type in the curly brackets um, to get the same result. So that is how you create a sheet to keep track of employees in different locations. Please subscribe.